what's up libra welcome back baby what's going on with you guys happy wednesday libra what's up what's up what's up welcome back and welcome if you are new and you're joining in you tapping in for the first time i'm happy to have each and every one of you here with me Libra, it's a pleasure. Thank you so much for all the likes, the comments, the shares, the subscribes, the donations. I greatly appreciate it. Libra, you have been just so amazing, so awesome. Y'all are so supportive. I love y'all. Y'all the best. Libra, you the best sugar snaps. Let's get into your message for today. Let's see what energy comes out. Let's see what's in the energy. Let's see what spirit has for y'all. Libra... Libra, 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 my babies. What's going on with y'all? What is up? What's happening, man? What's happening? What's happening, Libra? What's happening? <laughs> Some of y'all listening to that Beyonce album. Who not listening to that shit? A lot of people listening to that right now. Okay. B Hall. <laughs> I just heard B Hall. <laughs> you see what I did there? <laughs> Be haw yee haw shout out to Beyonce. We love B. Well, I love B. Can't speak for everybody. I love her. All right. Now, I'm not even gonna hold you. I have cowboy boots, like a lot of them. Like, I have a lot of cowboy boots. Um, and I, I've been pulling them out. I ain't even gonna hold you. I've been pulling them out. I've been feeling called to wear my cowboy boots, <laughs> thanks to Beyonce, because I haven't worn them in a long time, but I'm like, damn, she got me wanting to wear my cowboy boots, ready to pull them bitches out. Cowboys, cowboy boots and shorts are really cute, too. Like, that's going to be the summer vibe for a lot of people. A lot of people going to be wearing cowboy boots and shorts. Which is a classic look, you know. It's just that Beyonce got people feeling like, you know, they need to bring it back. You know, it ain't never go out of style, truth be told. But your ass probably wasn't wearing it until now. You're like, shit, I'm about, to, I'm about to start wearing my cowboy boots again. I know I got mine. I, I done pulled mine out. I got all different colors, too. Ostrich, lizards, gators. Yep. We love the cowboy boots. All right. Let's get into the messages, y'all. Enough about the cowboy boots. Enough about Cowboy Carter. <laughs> What's going on with y'all? What's up? Oh, man, Libra, make sure you stretch. I had told y'all that in another reading that I posted maybe a couple days ago or last week. But I told you, Libra, make sure that you get into the habit of stretching. Some of you guys don't stretch enough. I'm definitely talking to myself um, because I know that I don't, but I'm trying to change that. But some of you definitely need to start stretching, okay? Incorporate that into your daily routine. And those are my Libras out there that's really working out and stuff like that, taking care of your body. You need to stretch more. Like some of y'all just be jumping straight into the fucking workout, you need a stretch. 333 on the clock. I'm telling you, your ass need a stretch before you just start running and start, you know, doing all that extra shit y'all be doing. Start stretching first. <laughs> okay. Some of y'all need a stretch. <sighs> Make sure you stretch, you know, pre-workout and post-workout. Make sure y'all stretching. Get your stretches on, Libra. Get your stretches in, girl. And for my fellas, too, make sure y'all getting y'all stretches in. All right. I ain't going to tell y'all what to do. I'm just giving the downloads, child. You do what you want. If you don't want to stretch, that's fine. Your ass going to be cramped up. You're going to regret it. I'm telling you. <laughs> Shit. All right, Libra. Let's get into the message today. Let's see. I'm trying to figure out what I want to start off with. Mm hmm. We're just going to start with the tarot. Fuck it. Because I was like, damn, maybe I should pull some fortune oracles for y'all first. But no, we're just going to get straight into the messages with the tarot. Let's see what's going on. Let's see what's going on. Libra, Libra, Libra. Sun, Moon, Venus, Rise, and North Node. This is for you. Take only what resonates with you and leave the rest for somebody else out there. Okay, Libra? Y'all know how I go. 
Libra, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising, North Moon. Holy Spirit, what messages do you have for my beautiful and handsome Libras out there? What is it that you would like for them to know during this time? Libra, please keep in mind that um, these are general readings, okay? Everything you hear may not necessarily resonate with you. I take only what does, leave the rest for somebody else out there. I'm not sure if I said that already, but all right. Libra, please don't force it. It is not your message. Just take only what you know is for you, okay? It could be other things that I say that may be for somebody else. Just leave it for them, all right? <laughs> All right, Libra. Okay, pumpkin spice. Somebody here could be drinking something. Pumpkin spice. What's that? Pumpkin spice latte, right? You know what I want right now, Libra? A matcha. I have matcha too, but I don't want the matcha that I have. I want to go buy a matcha. <laughs> Let me get me a matcha today. Maybe a matcha frat. That shit is so sweet and unhealthy. I know it's unhealthy. But I love the matcha frappuccinos. Mmm, things be so good, child. Especially if they put like a little vanilla in it. Ooh, Libra, some of y'all could be drinking like matcha or pumpkin spice, something like that. All right, Libra, let's get into it, baby. I'm also hearing something about cinnamon. Somebody here is eating something that has cinnamon in it, okay? Maybe some of you guys are eating oats. I'm hearing something significant about overnight oats. So some of you could be making overnight oats. That's really healthy, right? You could be making overnight oats, putting a little dash of cinnamon in it. Um, somebody here could be eating like a Cinnabon. Some, somebody is eating something with cinnamon on it. Somebody here likes to sprinkle cinnamon on their pancakes. That's so funny because I remember growing up when my grandma used to, my grandmother used to make the best pancakes. Oh, grandma used to make the best pancakes and the best like white rice and gravy. Oh. But when she used to make us pancakes, my cousin used to always put like a bunch of cinnamon on top of hers. <laughs> so some of y'all, and she's a Libra too. And some of y'all like to eat uh, cinnamon pancakes or something like that. All right, Libra. Enough with the food, child. Y'all y'all making me hungry. Libra, let's see what's going on. Sun, moon, Venus, rising north, no Libra. The chariot, cancer energy. All right, Libra, you're moving forward. Moving on up. Okay, Jefferson style. Some of y'all may love to watch that show. Some of y'all could be watching that show. That's an old ass show. Okay, but I'm hearing you moving on up. Moving on up. Okay, you're on your way to the big leagues. <laughs> Where you going, Libra? Can I come? Send me a postcard. Some of y'all could be on the move, like actually on the move. Like you could be traveling. Uh, safe travels, Libs. But this is also metaphorically as well, like you just elevating, you're evolving, you're growing, you know, you're reaching new levels, new heights. Um, you're doing your thing, you know what I'm saying, Libra? You're doing your thug dizzle for shizzle nizzle. I want to chat with a big Snoop Dizzle. Now I'm channeling Snoop Dogg. Snoop Dogg is also a Libra. Yep, shout out to Snoop Doggy Dog. <laughs> Yeah, you protected too. Wherever you're going, it's protected. Like, whatever you're doing, like, as far as your journey, your healing is concerned, your spiritual journey, there's no blockages on, in your road. Some of y'all could have even did, like, a road opener. You could have did, like, some sort of cord cutting. You could have, like, rid yourself of a lot of, like, toxic, stagnant energy, which was really good, Libra. Also, I feel like your ancestors, your divine protectors have cleared that shit out for you. Um... But, yeah, you're showing up as someone that's heavily protected. Um, you could be setting healthy boundaries as well in your life. Like, setting up a lot of healthy boundaries here. You know, you're not playing about you anymore. You're not going to allow anybody to play with you. Some of you could be separating from a Scorpio or a Pisces. Or you could have Scorp you, you, Scorpio. I'm about to call y'all Scorpio. You got strong Scorpio energy coming in. Some of y'all could be on the cusp. So you could be closer to Scorpio. Some of you could have strong Scorpio placements. Maybe your moon, your Venus, your rising. Some of y'all dealing with somebody that got strong Scorpio placements. But it's something significant about Scorpio. But you got all the water signs here. You got Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. So some of y'all got strong water placements. Or you could be dealing with somebody that does. All right. But we got Pisces and Scorpio in the reverse. We got Cancer in the upright. That could be significant for some of y'all. But I feel like somebody here could have a Libra moon as well. Listen, 
somebody here that y'all blocked is trying to come come towards you okay period like i feel like somebody here is trying to it's like invade your space like somebody here want to invade your, your sacred space your energy oh i'm so sick of this shit like somebody here just always trying to spiritually bully all eh, bro but somebody here trying to invade your space or somebody here that you block that you're not trying to deal with that you don't want to communicate with this person is not trying to take no for an answer. Like, this is somebody that's like, you going to talk to me, God damn it. Like, uh, no, motherfucker, sit down. You know what I'm saying? Like, somebody here, like, you going to talk to me. Like, you going to hear me. This person could be a water sign. But I'm telling you, somebody here is, like, out of out of their body. Like, somebody here is having a, a, a emotional meltdown or some shit. Like, I don't know. This person is out of order. They out of line. They out of control. Um, But I feel like this is somebody that's like, you going to talk to me. You know what I'm saying? I got something to say. You gonna talk to me, goddamn it. It's like, oh, motherfucker, no, no, I don't have to say shit to you, to be quite honest. Yeah, this could be somebody that y'all going through a divorce with. Okay, y'all could be divorcing from this person, separating from this person. Maybe you just simply breaking up with this person. Maybe you ain't even get married to this person. Whoever this is, you separating from them. I feel like you don't want to have a new beginning with them. You don't want to, you know, give this person another chance. And you're not obligated to. You don't have to. Like, whoever this is, they like, you gon' you go and talk to me. You gon' give me another chance. You gon' give me a new beginning. It's like, motherfucker, I don't, I ain't gonna do shit. You gon' leave me alone, okay? Or you gon' head to the prison. <laughs> like, I don't know. Like, this person gotta be stopped, yo. This is somebody that has to be stopped, bro. They doing too much. <clears throat> Libra, I see here that you could be connecting with uh, people from your past for some of you. Or you connecting with your inner child is what I'm getting as well. So some of you could be connecting with your inner child. Libra, I had got that message. I had got that download for y'all the other day. And I know some of y'all wrote in the comments like, yeah, I am connecting with my inner child. I am too. I've been like playing like a lot of games and stuff like that that I am reminiscing just about a lot of like childhood games and things like that. I even bought like a perfume that I used to wear Um just to like bring me back like i don't know some of y'all have been connecting with your inner child but like happy memories you know things that make you things that make your inner child happy also understand that your inner child is very proud of you is what i'm hearing like where you at in life now how much you've grown how much you've transformed um the way that you are loving on yourself your inner child is really proud of you libra um really proud of you yeah very nice nine of cups yeah i feel like you're very happy i feel like a lot of you have like released codependency um so you could have been codependent in the past i mean who doesn't learn lessons involved with codependency right like you could have got rid of like unhealthy uh toxic situations behaviors people okay because this person definitely not good for your health that is not taking no for an answer. Somebody here could have a Libra moon. Somebody here could have strong Libra placements. This person could have strong Libra placements, okay? Like Libra, obviously you have strong Libra placements. I'm not talking to you, baby. <laughs> I'm talking about this person. This person could have strong Libra placements, okay, baby? Let's see. Yeah, this is somebody that betrayed y'all as well and you healed. Could have been a Gemini too. Somebody here could have a Gemini. Yeah, somebody here could be a Gemini. They could be a Gemini sun. I was going to say somebody could have a Gemini moon. They could. Somebody here could have a Gemini or a Libra moon, Pisces moon, Aquarius, Sagittarius moon, Scorpio moon, Cancer moon. Somebody here could have a water moon. But I'm telling you, whoever this is, they mad because you happy. They mad. Like, they like, whoever this is, they don't even want to believe that you happy. They like, man, Libra faking. You know what I'm saying? Libra ain't really happy. Like, no, Libra, you are really happy and you're really fucking done. Like, I don't understand why this person thinks that you putting on a front or you faking. Like, whoever this is, they was getting on your nerves anyway. So it's like, it ain't much to miss, motherfucker. You ain't giving me much to miss. Who the fuck gonna miss being abused? Or who's gonna be, who's gonna miss being um betrayed and, and you know, like, who's gonna miss that? Like, I feel like you don't even have happy memories of this person. For some of y'all, maybe you saying that, you know, it wasn't that bad. But for a lot of you, you saying, yeah, I don't have no happy memories for real with this person. Like this person over here feeling like you faking about not being hurt or sad or over them. And it's like, motherfucker, I don't even have happy memories about you. Like, 
Are you shitting me? 1444 on the clock as I say that. Some of y'all could be seeing 1444. You could be seeing 444. Some of y'all could have been dealing with somebody born in April. Uh, possibly, um, what's that? Aries or Taurus. Okay, it's April now. So something significant about April. Something could be happening this month as well. Um, something here could have happened last April, last year. Um, when it comes to this person. But I'm telling you, like, please. We got the sun here and the nine of cups. You are really happy. You're not faking. And you don't got to prove your happiness to anybody. Like, when you're truly happy, you don't have to prove it. You don't have to broadcast it. You're just sitting in your own energy. It's something very rewarding about being comfortable in your own energy. Right, Libra? Like, you comfortable in your own energy. You actually really do like yourself. You actually really do fuck with yourself. You don't have to pretend. <laughs> you vibrating very high. You ain't got to fake your happiness. You ain't got to fake your comfortability. Nine of cups to the sun. It's just that this person is not happy. So they feel like you faking. Like, they not happy. They could be faking like they are happy. So they feel like you must be faking too. No, motherfucker, y'all ain't the same. You and this person is not the same. Child, y'all are not even on the same vibration. Trust and believe that. This person's getting karma and they mad. Could be a Sagittarius for some of y'all. This person's getting karma. They're pissed off. They're mad that they're getting karma. They're mad that you're happy. This person was expecting you to be depressed, hurt. They was expecting you to be sad. This person could have also been trying to like manipulate your energy or even do spell work in order to create some sort of depression or sadness for you. Like, man, please, who's sad? Sad where, bitch? Like, please. Libra says sad where? Where? Where they do that at? <laughs> like, Libra. You said who's sad? Your mama sad? Shit, I ain't sad. You and your mama said, not me. <laughs> like somebody, somebody, something about somebody mama. Somebody mama don't like you. I heard you don't give a fuck. Yeah, we got the world card here. This cycle closed out. Child, please. Sad where? We got the world card here. That mean this shit is over. It's clip. It's finito. I just hit a stain finito. Okay, I'm here. Yo, I've been chilling with Chief Keef a lot. Somebody here like Chief Keef, and I'm not going to hold you. I used to be a huge fan of his. I used to listen to him a lot. Shout out to Chief Keef. I've been channeling him all week. But I'm hearing, I just hit a stain for Nito, okay, period. But this shit is for Nito, okay? This shit is finished, okay? It's nothing here. Zip zilch, it's nothing here. Zip zero, stingy with the Nero's. Like, this shit is over. It's over, it's clipped. Bye-bye, sayonara. Yeah, Libra, you in the six of wands. Being vindicated, celebrated, victory, success, recognition, good news, attention, praise, rewards for your hard efforts. Like, you just chilling. It's your time to shine. The will has turned in such a way. This person was not expecting this. At one point in time, maybe this person was feeling like they was on top of the world and you was you was hurting and shit. And now they feeling like they hurting. And now you going to the top. And they like, what? Like, how the fuck? How, how does will turn? Because we in year eight right now, nigga, that's why. Year eight mean everybody going to where they supposed to be at. This is a, this, come on now, y'all know eight is what goes around, comes around, infinity symbol. What goes around, comes around. What goes up, must come down. Now who's crying, desiring to come back to me? Yes, I'm hearing 18, 18 on the clock as I speak of the number eight in the year eight, 2024 is year eight. I'm telling you, karma, I'm, I'm, that's so crazy how it's 18, 18 on the clock when I looked up. Libra, some of, some of y'all could be listening to Alicia Keys, you could be an Alicia Keys fan, somebody, I'm hearing that song, uh, Karma by Alicia Keys. Um, isn't that the name of the song, Karma? I think so, yeah, what goes around comes around, what goes up must come down. Okay, now who's crying? Yeah, laugh now, cry later, motherfucker. Like, whoever this is, you know, they was laughing at first. They ain't laughing no more. Ain't shit funny now. This person sees you as someone that's very loving. They could or they could feel like you always cared about them, and now they feel foolish for playing with your heart. Mm. We have the emperor in the reverse. Whoever this is, they the emperor in the reverse. This person feel foolish for playing with your heart. I played with your heart. I mistreated you, Libra, and I'm sorry. Mm. Yeah. King of Wands. Somebody here could be a fire sign or a water sign. We got strong fire. We got strong water. Somebody here could be an Aries, Leo, Sag. A Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. They could have strong water or fire in a chart. Okay. This person could be at a distance from you for some of you. But it's like they want to come towards you. But whoever this is, you know, they they too, they too much here. Hierophant in reverse. 
they could be a queen of pentacles in the reverse that's in their energy that's watching them to make sure they don't take no action towards you they like go ahead bust a move motherfucker and i'm gonna bust you upside your head so i don't know if this is somebody that they actually was romantically connected to or not could be but for others of you it could just be somebody that's against you two um connecting in some way this person could be a Taurus. Somebody here could have strong Taurus in their chart. I'm hearing this could be somebody mama. But somebody here could have been like wanting this person to have an ending. Somebody here could have been wanting you to have an ending or wanting to put an ending to this person. Lord, this person got enemies, y'all. But whoever this is, you know, somebody here was trying to cause a painful ending to you or this person or both of you. And I just feel like it wasn't successful. Libra, it definitely wasn't successful. I mean, this it clearly wasn't successful if it was happening to this person because they trying to talk to you or they trying to energetically connect with you. They trying to like telepathically communicate with you. They feel like you you two have some sort of powerful connection where they could do that. Um, but with the three of cups here, you celebrating, period. Like you celebrating, it's your time, Libra. I can't make it up. Fucking uh, sun here, the sun, the nine of cups, the six of wands, the three of cups, like Libra. It's your time. It's your time to shine, baby. Shine bright like a diamond. Y'all know I channel a lot of songs, a lot of music. Shine bright like a diamond. Yeah, and this these motherfuckers getting karma. Somebody here could be a Gemini or a Taurus or a Sagittarius. It's like two to three women here or more that's working together that's getting karma. They under judgment because they wanted you to uh, die. They wanted you to have a painful ending. Or they wanted to put an end into this person because they feel like this person want to make an offer to you. They like, yeah, we know you want to sneak and make an offer to so-and-so. We're going to kill her first. or we're going to kill both of y'all. We're going to kill you before you could do it. Like, what the fuck? These motherfuckers is wicked. <laughs> Yo, whoever this Taurus is, they wicked. This Taurus, this Gemini, this Scorpio, this Virgo, Capricorn, whoever these people are, they wicked. <laughs> like, that's some wicked ass shit. It ain't never that deep. It ain't never that serious. Libra, please, it ain't that serious. Yeah, it ain't, it ain't, it should never be that serious. These people have lost their minds. Um, and that's why they under judgment. Somebody here about to lose their business or lose money, lose their, their finances could be decreasing. Yeah, their harvest is going to be affected by this. And this shit is going to cause them to be in a fucking, this shit going to throw them in a frenzy. The fact that they losing so much of their investments, somebody here is going to be losing a lot. Damn. Libra, I feel like you walked away from this shit. You like, I don't even want to do. I don't even want nothing to do with this person. Like, motherfuckers trying to kill you over somebody that you blocked or that you don't even talk to. Like, that's why the judgment. That's why the karma is so heavy. It'll be one thing if you was actually fucking with this person. A lot of y'all blocked this person. Y'all ain't even fucking with this person. And it's like, I mean, you know, not that you should die because you are fucking with somebody. But I'm just saying, for many of you, you ain't even talking to this person, let alone fucking with them. You know. But it's like, ooh, child, these, these women, these women crazy. These could be women that this man was dealing with as well at one point in time. Or this could be a woman that he was dealing with and then other women in her life that's helping her. But they all under judgment. Libra, whoever you are, you showing up as a high priestess. You showing up as someone that's very tapped in, gifted, very intuitive, uh, very spiritual. You can have psychic gifts and abilities. You could be a seer. But you showing up as some, one who knows, one that could be, one that could see beyond the veil. You know, you got the gift of sight. Your your intuition is on point. Um, it's heightened during this time. Your third eye is definitely activated, and you got a lot of knowledge as well. Like something here about you being very skilled, uh, very knowledgeable, um, very credible. Like, yeah, somebody here watching you. Yeah, three of wands to the page of swords. Somebody here watching you to see if you're going to get a love offer. Somebody here can be an Aries or they can have Aries in their chart. Okay. But somebody here watching to see if you get an opportunity, a love offer, or some sort of blessing. They waiting to see. It's like, yo, mind your fucking business. Okay. Or somebody here could be another Libra like you, a Gemini or Aquarius. But somebody here talking hella shit and waiting to see what's going to pop off in your life. They could be a Virgo or Capricorn that's watching too. You got a lot of people watching here. You got a Virgo, a Capricorn, another Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, or Aries, somebody with that in HR, all watching to see what's going down, what's happening, what's next in your life. Like, yo, focus on your shit. It look like you losing a lot. That's what you need to focus on. You need to focus on saving your shit and stop worrying about what's going on in Libra life. The fuck? Yeah, somebody here feel like a King of Pentacles, 
Pentacles got the strength and courage to come towards you and build with you. And so the fuck what if you got a King of Pentacles that you building with? What is it to y'all hoes? Like, move the fuck around. Y'all got shit that's falling the fuck apart. Y'all harvest is literally being rearranged. Your well is running dry. And you worry about the wrong shit. You over here watching Libra when you need to be trying to save your motherfucking business, save your job, save your ass, save your house. Like, that's what the fuck you need to be concerned about. Motherfuckers concerned about who making you a love or for what you got coming in or what's next, what's happening in your life. When they really need to be worried about this motherfucking tower that's about to blow. They need to be worried about this wheel turning. They need to be trying to hang on to that bitch. They about to fall off. This raft about to be crazy. Yeah. The fuck? They worry about the wrong shit. Yeah, we got the King of Pentacles here, the Strength and the Ten of Cups. Some of y'all could be connecting with a Leo or a Virgi Virg, a Taurus, a Capricorn. Y'all could be dealing with an Earth sign or a Leo, somebody with that in a chart possibly. But you about to build with somebody for some of y'all. Like, motherfuckers need to just move around. They need my mind their business. Yeah, somebody here trying to come towards you, Libra. Somebody here trying to hold on to you in some way, shape, or form. This, this will be up to you on whether or not you want to connect with this person. You know, because you know how I feel, Libra. Everybody questionable. Like, everybody in question. I don't put past nothing past none of y'all. You know what I'm saying? You can't put shit past people these days, Libra. Be smart. Be smart. You are the high priestess. You are smart. You are intuitive. Don't doubt your intuition. Don't, your, don't negotiate with your intuition. You feel me? Yeah, we got the king of swords in the reverse here. Somebody here is a dickwad. Somebody here is mean, they're cruel, they're a liar. They want to come back towards you. Whoever this combative, fucking narcissistic, parasitic, sadistic, pathological, lying-ass motherfucker is. This king of swords in the reverse want to come back towards you. It's a fuck no. This is somebody that could be acting like they want to invest in you in some way. Absolutely not. So be mindful of a king of swords in the reverse trying to come towards you, making you some sort of proposition, some sort of offer, some sort of proposal absolutely not this is not a wise investment this is not somebody that you need to be doing any type of dealings with this person can go straight to hell and make sure that they you know make sure that they um <laughs> fill up their drawers with that gasoline before taking a trip <laughs> yeah whoever this is they did something foul to you already and they ain't getting nothing out of it this is somebody that already betrayed y'all they already did something foul to you, Libra. They already made an investment. They didn't get shit on their return. They already did something foul to you. And they mad because they ain't getting nothing out of it. Somebody here could have a Taurus moon. Somebody here could be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. They could have that in a chart. Well, but whoever this person is, they're a fucking liar. They're untrustworthy. Yeah, strong Aquarius energy. Could definitely be an Aquarius, a Taurus, a Virgo, a Capricorn, another Libra. Whoever this is, is a no. This person need to get the fuck on. Somebody here could have a strong Aquarius placement, an Aquarius or a Taurus moon. Whoever this person is, they need to get the fuck on. They need to go ahead. They need to go ahead with the bullshit, Libra. Yeah, nine of pentacles. Nine of pentacles, nine of cups. You very independent on all levels. Libra, you got the nine of pentacles and the nine of cups here, both in the upright. And you straight chilling, very comfortable with self. Okay, yeah, because you was a fucking empress. I was waiting for you to come out, empress. Usually, you come out first card, second card out. You know, empress, you don't be wasting no time coming out, but you... You you stayed to yourself for a while today, Libra. But there you are, baby, the Empress. I knew you was going. I knew you was going to pop out, Libra. I knew you was going to pop out, baby. But yeah, Empress, you and the Nine of Pentacles, Nine of Cups, the High Priestess, the Three of Cups. It's time for you to celebrate. You can have Virgo, Taurus, or Pisces in your chart for some of you. But it, it's your time, baby. Continue to shine bright, Libra. Like this shit is a hell no. It's a hell to the no. Like somebody here, like, you going to talk to me, God damn it, Libra. You going to hear me. You going to hear what I got to say. It's like, uh-uh. Uh-uh. Security. <laughs> like, uh-uh. Somebody here need to be put down. Okay? Like, this person coming in like a bat out of hell. Like, you going to talk to me. You going to say something to me. You I'm, you going to get, you going you gonna to pay attention to me. Like, I feel like whoever this is, they doing a lot to get your attention. And it's just like, bro, move. Like, move the fuck like that person is draining libra whoever that is oh my god it's so draining oh my god like it's so they so draining they so aggravated they so irritated like nigga like if you don't like excuse my language libra i'm sorry but it's like sir if you don't fucking move the fuck 
Like, motherfuckers gonna have to get you escorted. <laughs> like, you gonna have to get escorted. You gonna have to get off the premises, off the property. I don't know. This person needs to be handled by officials. Like, this person needs to be transported or escorted somewhere. Libra, somebody here could, it could be some shit like that. Well, y'all gonna have to actually call on, you know, call on somebody for them to get escorted or to get, you know, removed or something. I hope it don't get like that for y'all. But for some of y'all, you're going to have to get somebody restrained. <laughs> like, you're going to have to get somebody. You're going to have to put some orders out. Like, you're going to have to order that somebody be removed. Like, my nigga. The fuck? Like, Libra, what the fuck be going on for real? Like, what is, like, what be going on for real? I know it's not funny. It's definitely not funny. It's nothing funny about any of that. Like, it should never be that serious where somebody wants to kill somebody. It should never be that serious where you got women wanting to attack you over a man that you don't even know or a man that you don't even talk to. It should never be that serious. It should never be that serious. It should never be that serious. That shit is insane. Um, so don't think that I'm laughing about the situation, Libra. You know, it's like I chuckle when I'm nervous and shit. Like, this energy is ridiculous. Which is why I'm lighting my Palo Santo again. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Like, this shit is ridiculous. This shit is stupid. Like, motherfuckers done lost their damn mind. That's what done really happened. They done lost their damn mind. <laughs> look at look how somebody looking at you. Like, somebody here face screwed up. Why your face screwed up? Like, this person face screwed up. Like... Yo, they face is screwed up. Like, somebody looking at you like, fuck out of here, bitch. It's like, bro, what? Like, you came for Libra. Like, this is what I don't understand. Whoever is, whoever's looking at y'all, right, with their face screwed up, this is somebody that's mad at you, but they came for you. Like, somebody here could be mad that they under judgment, that they getting karma, but they came for you. Like, you ain't sitting for this motherfucker. This motherfucker took it upon themselves to come for you, and they got exposed. Your ancestors met them at the door. Somebody here has been trying to invade your sacred space, your energetic field. Penetrate your energetic field. I'm hearing somebody here wants to contaminate your energetic field. Like, stick you with some venom, sting you, or poison you. I'm hearing something about a wasp. So something significant about the wasp, okay? Very negative, bad omen type of energy, venom, poison. Yeah, somebody here want to poison your, your aura, your good energy or something like that. Like, ew, get out of here with your stinger. <laughs> somebody here wants to sting you. Somebody here wants to poison you. They want to cause some sort of infestation of negative and dark energy. Somebody here is sick and twisted. <laughs> like sick and twisted as fuck we got the six of wands here and the three of cups though like libra you happy you celebrating the fuck is you talking about bro yeah six of wands and the three of cups like it ain't going nowhere somebody here feel like yo 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 your time to shine should have been up like your five minutes of fame sure is lasting long <laughs> Like, come on now. Somebody here could be in heavy regret and disappointed that they that they didn't treat you better. So you got multiple people in your energy and they all feeling some type of way. Some people in regret wishing that they would have treated you better, did better by you. Uh, some people here wish they would have knew who you was going to become because they would have treated you better. You know, it's just letting you know that they really ain't shit, that they really don't fuck with you for real, for real. Because if somebody was going to treat you better knowing that you would have been A, B, C, and D, that mean they was never for you. They ain't really, they really ain't never really care about you for real, for real. And that's why God be hiding you in plain sight, Libra. That's why God be hiding you in plain sight because motherfuckers be on some demon time. And they be opportunists, you know. They be all for self. Yeah, somebody here could be a Capricorn. Somebody here could be another Libra like you, a Gemini, Aquarius, a Virgo. You could have Virgo in your chart. The Hermit is the only thing that came up in the upright. Libra, whoever you are, you are um, an old soul, okay? Some of you may resonate with that, like you're an old soul, okay? Some of you uh, like to be alone. You love being in your own energy. You love your own company. There's a call for you to, like, take some time out for yourself to reflect, Spend time with self. 
a lot of y'all could have been doing that. But you're showing up as a hermit, a hermitage. You're showing up as someone that's very wise. I'm hearing you ahead of your time. You wise beyond your years. Yeah, and here go that three of cups again. That three of cups then came out again. It's time for you to celebrate, Libra. This is your time. I'm telling you, three of cups. Like, motherfuckers could be mad all they want. Who cares? Who cares how they feel? For real, for real. You off to the fucking palace, Libra, period. And you showing up as the queen of pentacles. Very stable, very abundant, self-sufficient, responsible, considerate, generous, a go-getter. You know, somebody that takes really good care of themselves, Libra. You the shit, baby. You can have Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn placements in your chart for some of you. You showing up as someone that's fearless, someone that's bold, someone that's living a life, someone that's courageous, someone that's brave, someone that's taking a, a great leap of faith here, investing in themselves. No risk, no reward, no risk, no magic. Libra, you a risk taker because you believe in yourself. As soon as I said you believe in yourself, yeah, you somebody that got strong faith. You believe in yourself. We got the star and we got the faith here. The faith card in this deck is the hierophant. Some of you may have um, something significant about the yin-yang symbol. The six-pointed star, the ankh, the cross, the om, the pinnacle. You may uh, resonate with those symbols. You could have some of those symbols on you. That's so crazy because, um, you know, that's my ring right there. And I have these two tattoos as well. Like, literally, they right next to each other. Yo, this shit is crazy. My yin-yang symbol is right here. And my moon and star is right here. Libra, some of y'all got these symbols tatted on y'all too, or some of y'all can wear jewelry with those symbols on it. You see that? Somebody here can have an ohm, a will, um, what you call that? Like the will of the ship, okay? Somebody here can have an ohm tattoo, a, a, pen, um, a pentagram, a yin-yang symbol. I'm not sure what you call this symbol here. I'm not too, I don't know about that one. Somebody here can have a six-pointed star across Somebody here could be of Chinese descent, okay? Some of you got like Chinese, um, something here is significant about Chinese or Asian culture, Chinese culture, yeah. But as soon as I said you someone that take risks because you believe in yourself, the star card and the faith popped out together, the Hierophant. We got the Hierophant, which is the faith card here. Taurus energy and we got the star card here Aquarius energy you can have Taurus or Aquarius in your chart as well Libra but whoever you are you are someone of strong faith you are someone that loves yourself that knows yourself you are um really um in love with yourself and Libra this star card it has the rainbow in it you see like these 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 vases, these vases, however you pronounce it, you know, vase, vase, same shit. But she the star, she's like pouring it out and it's a rainbow here. It's a rainbow in your energetic field, in your aura. Libra, I had mentioned that the other day. I'm channeling the same energy about the rainbow. That's Archangel um Raziel. Okay, Archangel Raziel, Raziel, right? Like, that came out the other day in your Angels and Auras Oracle deck. And I had to pull that card just to show y'all what I was talking about. But Libra, those of you that follow with the messages and watch the readings, you follow up with the readings, you know what I'm talking about. That card, You guys pull that card often. I'm actually messing around with the deck now to see if I could find that card. But it's something significant about you having Archangel Raziel around you, assisting you on your journey during this time. Okay, yes, Raziel, rainbow. You see, you see the synchronicities. You see what I'm saying, Libra, with the rainbow energy? You have like a rainbow, uh, you have like rainbow energy in your aura, in your energetic field, Libra. Archangel Raziel, it says enlightened, adaptable, soulful, and connected. Archangel Raziel is like God's messenger. He he keeps the secrets of God. You know, that's what it says. Number eight, some of you could be born October 8th, October 18th, or some of you could be a life path number eight. You may be seeing 888 a lot. 
Okay, I know that that's my number. That's my engine number. I always see 818 or 888. Or I'll see 8888. Like, I'll see 3, 4, 8, 818. I'll see those numbers. But something significant about the number 8. And we in the year 8. Yo, it's your year. Like, Libra, it's your year. 2024 is your year. Breaks down to an 8. Year 8, it's your year. All the good energy that you've been putting out over the years is being returned to you in miraculous ways. It's being manifested. It's being mirrored back to you in beautiful ways, Libra. You get what you put out. You've been putting a lot of good energy out. But yeah, it says Archangel Raziel's name means the secrets of God. He is said to sit at the throne of the divine, writing down everything he sees and hears. Okay? He's the Merlin of the Archangel realm. He can help you comprehend whatever you're trying to learn, especially if it's spiritual or mystical in nature. Okay, something significant about your dreams during this time as well. Your dreams are giving you messages. So you could connect with Archangel Raziel to help you interpret dreams or if you wish to explore past lives, Libra. But it says to see a rainbow in the aura is one of the rarest experiences. It's defined as the color of enlightenment. The rainbow represents someone who understands their cosmic toolbox. Okay, like you are multifaceted. You are someone that's enlightened. You are someone that understands self. You're mastering self, 33. Somebody here could be 33 or in their early 30s. Somebody here could be in their early 40s as well, 40, 44 on o'clock. Some of you could be born October 4th, October 8th, October 18th, October 14th. Okay, somebody here could have been born in 84 as well. Some of y'all see an angel number 444, 888. Something significant about 818-414-848. Somebody could have 848 in a um in a phone number or in a house number, they build a number, they street number. Something significant about 848. Okay. But it says enlightened, adaptable, soulful, and connected. You're very connected. You're very um tapped in. You're aligned with your higher self. Like Libra, this energy is so powerful, okay? But I just wanted y'all to see, like, the synchronicities with the star and the rainbow and then Archangel Raziel with that rainbow energy. But you are someone of strong faith, okay? You got strong, you have strong faith, Libra. You could be a prayer warrior for some of you. You could be a part of my soul tribe. But some of you, your prayers are very powerful. Yeah, you could be a prayer warrior. But you somebody that's a healer. You someone that's continuing to heal and love yourself. You nurturing yourself. Look at this energy, Libra. This is so beautiful. As soon as I said you take great risk or you take a leap of faith and you invest in yourself, you invest in your dreams, it's like because you have strong faith. As soon as I said that, the card of faith and star popped out. That's someone that's optimistic. That's someone that believes in themselves. And here we go with this king of swords in the reverse. This person is such an asshole. Like whoever this king of swords in the reverse is, this person is going to get sick if they're not already sick. This is somebody that could be in poor health, okay, or they about to be in poor health because they keep fucking with you or they was wishing you ill or they did something that was unforgivable. Like, fuck out of here. Whoever this is, they could be a Gemini, they could be a Libra, they could be an Aquarius like you, they could be a Leo. Somebody here could be a Leo or an air sign for some of y'all. But this is somebody that's going to have a great fucking fall. And this person has been sending you the evil eye, Libra, with the five of swords. This could be somebody in y'all fucking family. Or this could be somebody that y'all grew up with, that y'all that y'all known for a long time here with the six of cups. This is somebody from your past. This could be a past lover, an ex of yours. But for some of you, this is like a childhood friend or even a family member. But this person is like very hateful towards you and they've been sending you the evil eye. Like, this person need to get, like, come on, they, they need to repent. Like, but this person may not even believe in God, or maybe they just, I don't know what the fuck this person's problem is for real. This person needs to move the fuck around. That's what the fuck they really need to do, though. Libra, whoever you are with the Six of Swords, you sailing the calm waters. I feel like you don't give a fuck about this King of Swords in the world. You don't give a fuck about them. You don't give a fuck about what they're going through. This person could be another Libra like you, a Gemini, an Aquarius. They could be a, a Scorpio, a Leo. This is a masculine energy. If it's a woman, she's just really in her masculine energy. But for many of you, this is a man. Yeah, somebody here's a Gemini. Mm -hmm. Strong Gemini here. We got Gemini here with the Ten of Swords as well. This is somebody that betrayed y'all, but you've healed from this betrayal. Whoever this is, you've healed from this betrayal. This person wasn't expecting it. Yeah, they wasn't expecting you to heal from some sort of betrayal here. Somebody here could have a cancer moon as well. 
strong Gemini, strong Leo. Somebody here gonna have a Cancer Moon, like I said. Whoever this person is, they mad because you don't care. They mad because you ain't thinking about them. You ain't starting them. This is somebody that could be wanting to come towards you now because you're getting celebrated. This is somebody that could have misjudged y'all as well. So this is somebody that could have misjudged you. They could have been overly critical, very harsh with their judgment here towards you. You a whole fucking empress. You a divine feminine. You are a divine being. You're a fucking goddess, Libra. And you a high priestess. You somebody that's very intuitive. You somebody that's an asset. Like, this person should have worked with you instead of working against you. This is somebody that should have cherished having you a part of their life. Like, why the fuck? Like, this person need to go, go get the fuck on. Yeah, we got the Empress here in the upright twice. Like, Libra, you keep showing up as the Empress. You showed up as the Empress in the first deck I pulled from. And now you're showing up as the Empress again in this deck. Like, you are a true divine being. This is somebody here that can't accept your transformation. It's a Leo. For some of you, it's a Leo, a Scorpio, a Gemini, somebody with that in a chart. It could be up to two or three men here. And these could be people that you grew up with. Or these could be people in your family for some of you. But somebody here wasn't expecting you to transform. Somebody here don't like the fact that you transform, that you've healed. Somebody here also don't like the fact that you are locked in when it comes to your divine inheritance and your contract, your spiritual contract. Like somebody here don't like that. Like, it's like they wanted to just remove you. Like, it's like these people could have been harvesting your energy and actually building um, a life for themselves off of your energy. And it's like when that shit stopped because you was actually growing, healing and evolving and be and you were starting to learn who you was and tap into your power, tap into your higher calling, your spiritual purpose. It's like that shit could have started dying down and they like, and so they was like, fuck it. We just going to take you out altogether. We just going to remove you altogether. That shit is unsuccessful, Libra. I'm hearing you ain't going no fucking way. If anything, God will take these motherfuckers out before you. You're going to outlive all these motherfuckers for real, for real. Libra, you also getting an offer from a real fucking emperor. Okay, you got the emperor here and the ace of cups. Some of y'all are going to be falling in love or you already connecting with your emperor. Congratulations. But you got a divine masculine here. You showing up as the empress in the upright and we got the emperor in the upright. This is what you coming into, period. This person could be coming in to talk to you or somebody here ready to sweep you off your feet. The chariot, the knight of cups. Somebody here is ready to give you a love offer. Somebody here is ready to invest in you. These motherfuckers should be ashamed of themselves. This Leo, this Gemini, this Scorpio, whoever these people are, they, should, they they really need to go ahead with themselves. And there could be another Libra, Gemini, Aquarius that's jealous, that's mad. There could be a Capricorn that's mad. There's a lot of people that's mad here because they thought they was getting some sort of money. It's all about the Benjamins, baby. It's all about some sort of money here, some sort of divine inheritance, something that's coming to you. These people could have also accepted some sort of bribe here in order to attack you. You know, when the devil really trying to get at you, he'll use the people closest to you, friends and family, people that you think got your best interests in mind, people that you think that you can trust, people that you feel like can, um, that, that love you, you know, that's who he'll use to get at you. He used the people that's closest to you. These are family members. These are childhood friends. These are people from your past. I'm telling you, but with the 10 of Pentacles in reverse, they ain't getting shit and they mad. Somebody here could be a Sagittarius. They got a Sagittarius in HR. All these people turned against you. I'm hearing something significant about Facebook. Somebody here could have contacted someone through Facebook or somebody here was talking through Facebook about you, gossiping about you. Everybody worked together. That's how they started, you know, creating shit and doing shit against you. So somebody here could have talked to somebody and everybody was talking and, okay, we're going to do this and Libra's this, Libra's this kind of person, they're a horrible person. We're going to tear Libra down. We're going to get with this money, this, this, and that. God said, y'all motherfuckers is crazy as hell. This is my baby. Ain't shit about to happen to them. I'm about to bless them right in front of y'all. And I'm about to tear y'all shit down. Some of these people are actually in poor health. Somebody here feel like they, they days are fucking numbered. Because somebody here is in poor health. Somebody here's health is, is just... is Somebody here could be losing a lot of weight as well or they about to. It's something here about somebody's health. Somebody here could actually be bloated. And then for some people, they actually like losing a lot of weight. So it's like from one extreme to the next. Somebody here could be fucking swollen and bloated. And then somebody here could be wasting away, losing a lot of weight. But these people are being affected as far as their health is concerned. Their, felt, their health is failing. 
That's the fucking truth. Libra, Ace of Swords. You know I ain't gonna lie to you, baby. You know we tapped in. Libra, you know I'm tapped in. Ace of Swords, that's the truth. Somebody his health is fucking plummeting, okay? Like, that shit is failing. Yeah, Libra, you the magician. You the true magician. You the alchemist. Like, these people should have cherished having you around. Like, what the fuck? Like, like anybody would... It's an honor to have somebody of your ranking with your kind of power and enlightenment. It's an honor to have somebody like you around. Like, it's a fucking privilege. It's a fucking honor to have somebody like you around. Like, these people fucked up. They crazy as hell. I know they probably wish they wouldn't have did this shit. Hell yeah, they wish they wouldn't have did this shit. Because these must, some of these people going to need your help, Libra. And I feel like you ain't helping them. Yeah, God said don't help them. God said don't help them. He'll snatch that shit away from you so fast if you if you try to help these motherfuckers. We got the nine of pentacles in the reverse here to the five of pentacles. These people are codependent and wanting to return, wanting to come back towards you, wanting to, yeah, uh-uh. You could have blocked these people or it's a need for you too. It's a call for you too. Spirit is encouraging you to block these people, eight of wands in the reverse. Don't fuck with them. Don't deal with them. These people ain't give a fuck about you, Libra. They was about to just, you know, they just wanted to wipe you clean off this motherfucking realm, off this earth. They said, man, just do away with that bitch. Yeah, we got the nine of cups here. You happy, Libra. You standing in your power. Happy is all get out. You are someone that's happy. You showing up as someone that's powerful, that's loving themselves. You know, very independent here. And there they go, side on you. Mad, side eyeing you. Fuck out of here, Libra. Who the fuck you think you are, bitch? Who the fuck do you think you are? Who the fuck you think you are? Say God's favorite. <laughs> Period. Yeah. Somebody here that's very emotionally manipulative is mad. Could be another Libra. Somebody here could be a Libra, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. They can have strong water or Libra in their chart. Somebody here, every time they try to attack you, that shit hit them in the fucking chest. That shit hit them right back, five of wands in reverse. As quick as they send it out is as quick as they come back to them. That shit don't even get up off the ground. I'm hearing instant return to senders, instant backfires. Instant. <laughs> Something here is happening instantly. Okay. Expeditiously. <laughs> Libra, keep winning, man. Keep shining, baby. That's that's the position that God put you in. He said, keep winning, baby. Keep shining. Fuck you talking about. Keep winning. Keep shining, baby. Keep irritating these motherfuckers. They ain't got to watch. Somebody here feel like they, they, got, they have to watch you be successful. No, you don't have to watch. You can mind your business, which is what you should have always did to begin with. <laughs> like, you don't have to see anything. You What you can do is mind your business. That's what you should have been doing. You wouldn't even be in half the shit that you in now had you just mind your fucking business to begin with. Um, but yeah, Libra, you know what I'm saying? That's what it is, Libra. That's what it is, shorty. I hope that this message is helping you. I hope you can take something from it. I'm going to pull some positive affirmations for you guys and some fortune oracles to close it out. Y'all know the vibes. <clears throat> Let's see if we get some new ones today for you, Libra. Spirit, can I get some affirmations for Libra? Sun, moon, Venus, rising, north, no, Libra. Can we get some affirmations for my Libras that resonate with this message? Double confirmation. Any positive affirmations for Libra? Okay. We got flower child. I told you something significant about them. Them fours. We got 14 right here. Breaks down to a five. All right. Flower child. Okay. We got magic, mushroom, blessings, and curses. I feel like you pulled those two the other day. All right, Libra. Positive affirmations for my Libras. Okay, and we got the mirror. All right. So it says flower child 14. Some of you could be born October 14th, October 5th. Some of you could be born October 15th, October 6th. Some of you could be born October 21st. You could be on the cusp, okay, of Libra Scorpio. Some of you could be born September 26th. You could be on the cusp of Virgo uh, Libra, all right? Somebody here could be born in 62. Something significant about somebody born in 62. Some of you, your ops are older in age. They too old for the dumb shit that they've been doing. Um, also, Libra, something significant about something that happened to you at the ages of 14, 15, 5, 6, 22, 
21, 12, 3 years old, 8 years old, and 26 years old. I'm hearing for some of you, these people have been trying to kill you at those ages or something traumatic could have happened to you at those ages or between the ages of uh, 14 to 26. That's a big ass gap, but that's what I'm getting. But something here definitely happened to some of y'all traumatic at the ages of 21, 15, 14, 26, 5 years old, 6 years old, 3 years old, 8 years old. Something could have happened to you guys that was very traumatic during those during that you know at that age okay during those times when you was that age um some of you could be a life path number five six three eight some of you seeing eight 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 like i had mentioned earlier you could be seeing three 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 you could be seeing uh six 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 five 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 four 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 okay you could be seeing those angel numbers Something here significant about June 3rd. That date could be significant for somebody, June 3rd. I'm also getting June 26th, June 8th, June 6th, June 14th, June 5th. That could be somebody's birthday. I'm also getting something significant about... March 21st, March 26th, March 15th, March 6th, March 14th, March 5th. I'm also getting something significant about August 14th, August 15th, August 6th, August 5th, August 3rd, August 21st, August 26th. Those dates could be significant. So that could be somebody's birthday. Somebody's birthday is also August 24th is what I just heard. These could be people that y'all dealing with, people that resonate or that was in this message in some way, shape, or form. Okay. But we got Flower Child, 14. Let's see. Flower Child, Libra, you are the Flower Child, baby. Let's see. Let's see, flower child. It says self-pollination, momentum, creativity, and action. Your affirmation is, I am the beekeeper of my own garden that grows. Okay, Libra? I am the beekeeper of my own garden that grows. Your manifestation enhancer says... Get clear on what areas you want to see your bees, which is the energy and focus, go to. Take action and take the first step on any projects or ideas you have, even if they seem super small. You have momentum. You'll be surprised at how much flow and power you seem to have right now. Write your projects or ideas down and organize them. Put them into actionable steps. Break them down into bite-sized pieces and then eat them up. You got this, Queen Bee. Then we also got 15. It says, stay open to the good and beautiful things. Magic mushroom. Miracles, fairy energy opening up. Libra, you have fairy energy, okay? Like, you have fairy energy, Libra. You attract fairies because you are an angelic being, all right? Something significant about the 5D. Miracles, fairy energy, 5D opening up. Do you believe in miracles, Libra? Yes. I'm hearing that your whole life is a miracle. It's a miracle that you're still alive after all the shit that these people have been doing as well. That's how somebody feels. It's a miracle that you're alive. The affirmation says, I open my eyes and heart to the magic around me. Okay, Libra? I open my eyes and heart to the magic around me. And your manifestation enhancer says, imagine you are the psychedelic mushroom. Practice looking, feeling, and thinking about things in a new way. Watch informational or spiritual documentaries. Read some new books. Take a walk and just observe the world around you. Listen to different music. In fact, try taking a walk or journaling while listening to instrumental, instrumental, instrumental music. Excuse me. 
What thoughts and feelings does it bring up? Wake up at a different time than you normally would earlier or stay up later if you can and chill with the moon. Some of you are moon goddesses. You have a great connection with the moon. We have 21 blessings and curses. It says, do not be ashamed of your thorn. No, it says, do not be ashamed, not of your thorns or of your flowers. Yeah, you pulled this the other day, Libra. Blessings and curses. Some of you may love the color red. Some of you could have strong Aries placements. Some of you may love to wear like red nail polish or red lipstick. Some of you could even have red hair. But it says psyche, self-love and beauty. Okay, 21. I love red lipstick. And I've been wearing red lipstick again recently. I used to wear red lipstick all the time. And then I stopped. But then I've been wearing it recently. And I'm like, damn, I miss it. Like, I actually really do love my red lipstick, okay? But 21, duality, psyche, self-acceptance, and beauty. Your affirmation says, I accept all parts of myself. I am divine and whole. Okay, Libra, you got that? I accept all parts of myself. I am divine and whole. I love that for you. The manifestation enhancer says, practice self-love at this time. Mirror work can be extremely powerful now. Meditating on love, appreciation, and acceptance of yourself while sitting in front of a mirror. You can find guided meditations on YouTube for this. Speaking aloud, self-love and affirmations to the mirror is also powerful. Do it as often as you can. Okay, I love that. All right, 26. I love all of this. I know I keep saying I love that. I love all of this. All right, I love it. I love it. 26, it says the mirror. What does her book say? It says, did you forget all you had to go through to be you? Okay, Libra, yeah, you had to go through a lot in order to be the person that you are today. But it says the mirror, self-reflection, writer, individuality, big picture. Some of you could be writers. You could be a great writer, Libra. Some of you need to journal more, okay? Write down your feelings. That's, that's, that's a good way for you to process your emotions, to work through your feelings, work through your emotions. But your affirmation today, it says, I honor the full book of my life, every chapter that I write. All right, Libra? I honor the full book of my life, every chapter that I write. Your manifestation enhancer says, adopt a zoomed out perspective on your life every now and again especially when you feel behind, unworthy, or lost. Look at your whole self in the mirror. Remember to be patient and that there is a bigger picture to all of this. Imagine your life as though it is a book, remembering that you have so many more pages to fill. You are becoming more you with every day that passes. I love that for you, Libra. Very beautiful energy. You are becoming more you with every day that passes. It has taken a lot for you to get to where you are today. You had to go through a lot to become the person you are today. Your inner child is proud. Your ancestors are proud. I'm proud of you as well, Libra. 222 two, two on the clock. Okay, some of y'all could be seeing 222. Two, two. I just looked at the clock. It was 102.22. Some of you could be seeing 123. Okay, goals 13. Somebody here could be born October 13th, October 4th. Some of you could be a life path four, life path number three. But Libra, it says progress is positive and personal uh, goals will be achieved. So you achieving a lot of your goals. Progress is positive and personal goals will be achieved. 13 goals. Yeah, October 13th, October 4th, life path number four. Some of you see an angel number 444. That's your protection. You have a lot of it. Some of you could be born October 5th. You could be a life path number five. It says celebrations. You are ready to bring new and exciting things into your life, Libra. You are ready to bring new and exciting things into your life. Progress is positive and personal goals will be achieved. You got love in your life. You got love surrounding you, Libra. You embody love. Some of you could be born October 17th, October 8th. You could be a life path number eight. It says love surrounds all your connections. Move forward positively in all areas of your life, Libra. Okay. I love that. And we got lovers. Some of you could be born October 18th. You could be born October 9th. It says there are two paths ahead. Be true to yourself. You could also be a life path number nine. Libra, be true to yourself. Okay. Trust your intuition. You are achieving a lot of success. 
you achieving a lot of your goals, okay? Your personal goals will be achieved. You got a lot of success coming into your life. It's a time of celebration. New and exciting things are entering your life. You the shit, Libra, period. You just the shit. That's just, that's just what, at the end of the day, you just the shit, period. You know, period. Like, that's it. <laughs> that's the message. <laughs> Nah, Libra, but I love you, baby. I hope you could take something from this. Thank you guys so much for rocking with me. You guys are truly amazing, Libra. I love talking to you. I love getting on here every day and giving y'all a message. It really fills me. 444 on the clock as I say that. Some of y'all definitely seeing those angel numbers, 444. A lot of protection surrounds you during this time, Libra. You got a lot of angels around you. You have archangels assisting you and guiding you. And you also have your personal guardian angels and ancestors. Libra, I love you so, so much. I'm giving you your flowers. Have a beautiful Wednesday, baby. Continue to vibrate high. Do something nice for a stranger today. Be kind to yourself, Libra. Be kind to yourself. Be kind to others. Spread love, Libra. I love you so much. Continue to take care of yourselves. I'm going to holler at y'all. Peace.